In this video, we'll unbox a code car from Let's Start Coding and look at what you need to do to get started with it. The first thing you can do is remove the wrap from the box. There's no information on the wrap that's not inside the box, so you can go ahead and throw that away. Next, you'll open up the box, and the thing on top is the code car. It's a car-shaped computer that you'll program and build projects with. Right beneath that is a USB cable. The important thing to remember about the USB cable is that the stripes on the sticker match the stripes on the code car. So you can slide the code car into the USB cable. It will be a snug fit, but the USB cable will not slide all the way down to the body of code car. If you need to adjust the fit of the USB cable for code car, you can bend this metal tip of the USB cable just a little bit, but be very careful that you don't make it too snug or too loose to continue to use. The USB cable is retractable if you pull it from both ends, and you can plug the USB cable into a Mac, PC, or Chromebook computer to write code for CodeCar. Now I'm going to use a USB battery pack to show you the default program that's on CodeCar, but this is what should happen when you plug this CodeCar into your computer. The small green power light will come on and it will stay on steadily. And if you push the different buttons on Code Car, you'll see the different actions that happen. Now, this is running a default program that you can find on our website at letstartcoding.com. If the green light is not on solidly on your Code Car, you may need to adjust the fit of the USB cable or make sure that you're plugged into a powered socket on your PC, Mac, or Chromebook computer. At the bottom of the box are a number of reference cards that you can use to get started. First, the Getting Started card shows you the website to visit to set up your code car, and it also shows you the different components that are built into the code car. The purple cards are code reference cards. These will be really useful as you start writing your own code and building your own projects because they outline the different syntax and punctuation that you'll need to use to write your code. So that's it. Once you have your code car unboxed and plugged in, you can visit letstartcoding.com slash car and you'll get the free software that you can download and start following the lessons to build coding projects.